Boom, boom, boom. You just started to try to eat clean. Maybe you're on a diet or a lifestyle change. Maybe you just found out that you're intolerant to gluten, soy, dairy, whatever it is. <sighs> Restaurants. That's the big trip up, right? Now, some of us think that restaurants are like in this magical land that if we eat amazingly at home, that restaurants don't count. Well, let me just tell you, they do. So let's go through some top tips for eating out at a restaurant and staying as close to our ideal eating plan, our nutritional system that we have set out as we can. It's basically gonna be impossible, I'm just gonna say that but we can do our best and I'm gonna give you some tips. I'm Ash Brockington with, with the Busy Girl Society and I've been gluten-free for 15 years. That means I've been raging against the restaurant machine for 15 years trying to figure out what in the heck I can order. Now the first tip I'm going to tell you is focus on protein and veggies. Make that your focus. Let's make a lineup. We're looking at the menu. What do I want you to look at? I want you to look first at vegetables. What are the cleanest? and yummiest looking vegetables. Now a casserole, that's not a vegetable. That's like cheese and cream and sugar. And we're looking at vegetables. Do you like asparagus? Do you like broccoli, spinach, salad? You know, what, what, yummy, potato, sorry, that's not a vegetable. But which vegetable sounds best to you? Raw, cooked, figure that out. Next, what protein sounds good? Beef, chicken, fish, eggs? Figure out your protein source. Next, I would say healthy carbs. So let's think about some healthy carbs. Beans, black beans, or pinto beans, not baked beans, because there's a ton of sugar in them. Sweet potato, doctored up with just some salt and olive oil. Maybe if you wanna do a little bit of butter if you're not dairy free, but we don't need the sour cream. We definitely don't need the brown sugar. Rice or quinoa, steamed. If you don't ask for it steamed, I'm telling you they're just gonna like pour on butter and salt bill. It's not, uh, yeah, it's definitely not a healthy carb then. So look at your healthy carbs next. And then lastly, we do have the, you know, the portion category, the food category that we would always want to include in our diet of healthy fats like avocado, olive oil, um, some healthy nuts, and then fruits. But when you eat out, it's most likely that you're going to be eating a lot of extra hidden fats and a lot of extra hidden sugars. So I don't think it's the worst idea if you just kind of don't necessarily work to include the healthy fats or the healthy sugars, the fruits, while you're eating out. If you do, if you do want those, then just make a good choice. So if you go from protein or veggies, protein, healthy carb, and you really try to prioritize the veggies and the protein, then the rest can kind of be the rest, but that's the point, is you want to focus on the majors and let the minors be the minors. And I also suggest that you do that when you're eating. So start with your vegetables to fill up on the, the fiber and the veggies, then go to your protein, and then you know kind of work your way down like that instead of starting with the, the carbs and the sugary stuff and the things you're like, oh, probably could have filled up on salad first. Speaking of salad, my next tip is let's watch the salad especially if you're not a salad lover and you're trying to just be healthy or do a diet, if it's gonna be miserable for you and you're just gonna to try to doctor it up with lots of cheese and salad dressing and nuts, it's just not worth it because in the end, you're gonna not be eating probably as much of the veggies, probably gonna squirt around them and it's probably gonna have just as much like sugar fats as something else you would order. So if you're ordering a salad, this is how I personally order. It might seem too restrictive for you, but for me, this has really served my body well. I don't do salad dressings. I do olive oil and vinegar at the table. I say, can I have olive and vinegar at the table, please, with some salt and pepper. If I want it to have a little bit more of like a I'll ask for some fresh fruit, some blueberries or some strawberries. Also, another way, great way, I think, to get awesome flavor is just some uh, red onion. So I always make sure that I have red onion in my salad. If you're not a big onion lover, just chop it up really, really small, and then it gives that a lot, a lot of flavor. Okay, so now we've got some greens, right? And we've got some, you know, olive oil and some vinegar. Well, what else are we gonna put on the salad? 
Look for a salad that has extra vegetables. And I wouldn't count corn as a vegetable. That's a carbohydrate. Beans, same thing. But what else can they put on there? Is there broccoli? Is there carrots? I love going to restaurants where they put you know, interesting vegetables, whether it's artichokes, asparagus, beets. I love beets on a salad. So look for some interesting veggies. I don't do the cheese. Personally, I don't do the cheese, but I know that cheese kind of adds that nice check texture. So if you are doing cheese, I would suggest goat cheese or feta, or what I do is I sub out avocado. And so I'll eat about that much avocado, about a fourth of an avocado on my salad, and it just kind of gives it, you know, like I said, some texture and a little bit more flavor. Another thing to always leave out on salads is the crunchy stuff. So the wontons, the tortilla strips, the croutons, it's just not worth it. I mean, seriously, I'd much rather have a piece of pizza or a breadstick or a piece of toast than a bunch of crunchies on my salad. Let the salad be a salad. And then if I need some, you know, cheat stuff, don't put it on your salad. The nuts, I also just wanna say, while I'm not against having nuts on a salad, just be aware that when you're at a restaurant, these aren't just nuts. These are definitely not raw cashews or almonds. These are nuts toasted in fat covered with salt. The biggest danger zone, if you ask me, at restaurants is the fat and carb combo and some sugar. There's sugar in everything. It's in the ketchup, it's in the salsa, it's in the marinades, sugar and salt make everything taste amazing. And so where I think we get like real, like our bodies just don't like it, is that fat carb combo. When we fry carbs in fats, when we put butters on our carbs, it's just butter and carbs just all together. And our, our body wants to use healthy fats for brain function and you know beautiful skin and uh, our nervous system. And we want to use healthy carbs for energy. But when you combine them like that and you fuse them with that heat, it changes everything. Your body doesn't like that. So just be aware of that when you're reading the menu. Moving on, the next tip is just watch your portion size. And I think this one's obvious, but for me, when someone gives me food on a plate, I'm thinking, I, to me, I almost think like, this is free food. I have to eat it all. When I need to be thinking, wouldn't it be lovely to have leftovers tomorrow? Wouldn't it be lovely? So make it a point to learn portions. In my Busy Girl Health and Fitness Challenges, I, we, I teach them a nutrition system, a portion fix system. So you can start to eyeball how many carbohydrates a day you need and what that serving looks like. Same with proteins, healthy fats, fruits, veggies. You can start to eyeball it. I'm going like this because I use a container system. And I can see, ah, that's one veggie serving. Okay, that's protein, or maybe that's three protein servings. Boom, 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 gonna cut it up. I'm gonna eat one to-go box, please. We talked a little bit about prioritizing what you eat and how you order, but along with that, eat the veggies first. Fill up on fiber. Fiber literally fills us up. So instead of eating you know, the carbs first, and the, the sweet stuff first, even the protein first, I would eat veggies first, then protein, then the carbohydrates. Do it in that order. You're gonna be more satiated and less like hangry for the carbs. Also, just a little tip, after you eat your veggies and your protein, maybe go take a bathroom break to powder your nose. I know, I don't think anybody does that. Touch up your lipstick, check your Facebook. Let your stomach have a, a little second to uh, settle. And the last thing I want to share with you is just a little round of eat this, not that. Are you ready? Eat sweet potatoes, steamed rice, or steamed quinoa instead of casseroles, french fries, or chips. Oil and vinegar or fresh fruit instead of pre-made dressings. Fourth of an avocado instead of cheese. A small portion of nuts instead of tortilla chips, croutons or wontons on that salad. Salsa or a little bit of guacamole instead of creamy dressing, cheesy, whoa, mayonnaise, whatever it is. Lettuce wraps instead of buns, not these buns, instead of a hamburger bun, or instead of tortillas, lettuce wraps. And lastly, water. This is like the easiest one, but sometimes we get so addicted to that soda machine. Water or unsweet tea instead of soda or sweet tea. And here's a little trick I do. When I'm really wanting like that sweet beverage, I will get unsweet tea and then I have liquid stevia and I'll put a drop of the liquid stevia in there and then I feel like I'm totally cheating and squirting. 
That's about it. I hope this has helped you, these tips for eating out. I'm Ash Brockington with The Busy Girl Society. You can follow us for more health tips, nutrition tips, fitness tips, and life hacks at busygirlsociety.com. You can also follow me at facebook.com backslash losing it with Sam and Ash or on Instagram at busygirlsociety. See ya, make good choices, okay, do it.